Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today we're discussing the basics on drone maintenance, how to ensure that you follow the rules and you stay safe within the parameters of your operation, and to ensure that you're following the local laws and regulations. I recently had the opportunity to take a drone course through Ace Aviation, and this was a Certificate 3 plus an REPL, so I will have the link in the description below to check this one out, but it was a fascinating course guys, I learnt so much, I learnt pre-flight, post-flight checks, I also learnt LiPo battery management, I learnt a lot about how to read maps, how to make calls, how to ensure that I'm safe and operating within the guidelines of my local government, so a very fascinating course with invaluable information, something that I can take from now until the day I guess I die. So a really fascinating course with a lot to offer. There are a few crucial things that you need to check before you even take off guys. You need to make sure that the solar flare activity is low. You can check that online, you can get applications for it, but you just need to make sure that there isn't a massive solar flare because that could fry your drone and make it fall from the sky and destroy your drone, your livelihood and pretty much everything. So that is something you really need to be careful of. Another thing is wind conditions. So you can get apps for that as well. You can also check online and uh, check with your local governments and whatnot to ensure that there are no major storms or operations within the area. So that's another thing. Be careful, uh, be mindful and contact your local towers if you have available numbers for them. Another thing is you need to make sure that you never operate within an aerodrome. You have to make sure that you're five nautical miles away from an aerodrome, whether that be an airport, a helipad, balloon operations, parachuting operations, whatever that may be, make sure that you operate outside of those areas. Another thing is you really need to make sure that with your pre-flight check, you check the motors. Make sure they are brushless motors so there shouldn't be any sort of friction at all. They should just spin freely. So make sure that there's nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, there could be some issue if you feel any sort of friction or anything or if you feel like a ball bearing is loose then do not take off because that motor could fail at any point and it could just drop from the sky. So make sure that you maintain your motors. You check that every time you take off and every time you land. Another thing is make sure that your battery is securely put into the actual drone itself. So make sure you hear that click. That's crucial, another really crucial thing. Imagine a battery falling out of a drone midair. It would have nothing to power it, it would just fall down. And that is a terrifying thought for people around you and also for your drone, because I'm assuming it's gonna be quite an expensive drone. Another crucial thing is when you land your drone, make sure that you feel all the motors. If they are extremely hot, if one of them is hotter than the other one, then that means that that one has had a lot more work and it's maybe overdoing itself or there's something wrong there. So you need to maintain the motors, make sure that they're equally distributed and the heat isn't ridiculous. It shouldn't be too hot to touch. That's the whole idea. If it's too hot that when you touch it, you, you have to kind of let go, then that's a little bit too hot. You know, there may be days where it is relatively hot, but just kind of maintain that and ensure that it isn't burning away. Also, another thing is make sure that the battery isn't too hot when you take it off. Um, make sure that you also discharge it so you let it drop down and you only charge it when you're going to use it within the next couple of days because that is another potential fire hazard guys. If you ever do run into any issues with your battery make sure that you have a bucket of water with salt in it to discharge the battery that's another crucial thing you can start fires you can hurt yourself uh, you could even blow up your drone potentially. Like I mentioned before if the motors do get relatively hot or if you hear a ball bearing moving or if there's some sort of friction do not take off guys because that is a potential hazard waiting to happen. What you should do though is contact your supplier, whether that is DJI or 3DR Solo or whoever it is, GoPro with the GoPro Karma, contact them to try to get a replacement sent out. Or alternatively, if you have a drone maintenance like area, repair shop somewhere local, then take it there and get an official motor replaced. Again, really crucial guys, because wear and tear on these motors, it's inevitable that they're gonna break at some point. So just be mindful of that for yourself, for your finances, for people around you, and just for the whole picture. It's really important to make sure that you know how your drone operates and what is wrong and what is right, I guess, about the motor, the battery, the drone itself, and just all sort of operations. Also, make sure that you get no sort of error message through your application or however you're running the drone. If you see any sort of uh, red banner or anything that says uh, issue with IMU or issue with the gyro or something like that, do not take off. You need to make sure that everything is green. You need to make sure that everything is working properly. And that is, again, a really crucial thing. If you take off and there's something out of whack, it could start leaning one way, it could crash into something. You have no idea. So make sure with the pre-flight check, 
that everything's 100%. No solar flares, the wind isn't too full on, make sure you're outside of an aerodrome, make sure the motors aren't too hot, uh, the batteries, oh sorry, the motors are spinning freely, uh, make sure that the battery is connected properly, and then you're basically ready to go. And then when you're in the air, like I said, 30 meters away from people, no higher than 120 meters, and basically if you're outside of an aerodrome and you do that and your drone itself is under two kilograms, that's for Australian law, then you should be fine to do pretty much whatever guys, as long as you're not stupid and you're you know, really safe when you're flying. This is a piece of machinery that is flying, so it can be relatively dangerous guys. Some of them actually have propellers with carbon fiber blades on them, so that could cut you up. So you need to be really careful. This isn't a toy, this is a real thing guys. Um, so these are all the things that I've actually learned through this Ace Aviation course. Fascinating stuff guys. If you do want to check it out, I will have a link in the description below. Uh, thank you so much for watching though. This is really a fascinating industry that is blossoming. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.